And now we're going to talk about lactate dehydrogenase. A dehydrogenase is typically going to do what? It's going to do a oxidation reduction reaction. All right. In the absence of oxygen, uh, lactate dehydrogenase is going to basically uh, do an oxidation reduction reaction and it's going to reduce pyruvate into lactate. The mechanism is pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, from OCHEM, where you have these lone pairs from the nitrogen going to this uh, to form a double bond here. Since this carbon can't form more than four bonds, because there's a hydrogen that's implied that's not drawn here, it's going to move. And then this carbon can form more than four bonds and cause this hydride to be uh, able to attack this carbonyl carbon. Also remember that this carbonyl carbon has a partial positive charge because you have a dipole moment from this oxygen having a part uh, having a highly electronegative uh, value. All right. And uh, what I learned was that this bond breaks and goes to the oxygen and there's a negative charge and it picks up a proton in solution. But what they depicted here, and I'll go with their mechanism over mine because I'm going straight out of memory in terms of OCHEM because I tutor it a lot. That's why. Um, this double bond uh, is basically doing this reaction directly, it looks like on this reaction, all right? And this is your product. Product is an alcohol. And so would you say that this lactate, uh, this pyruvate got reduced or oxidized? Was there, was there more double bonds on pyruvate or less double? If you said less double bonds, then, then it's uh, reduction. And you notice there's more double bonds. There's more double bonds on NAD. And that's why it's called NAD plus and it's oxidized and it can be reduced. What other type of fermentation takes place? There's a hint here, I need a smoke and a beer. This is uh, alcoholic fermentation. Simply, it's just like the previous reaction, but you have acetaldehyde being converted into ethanol, which is drinking alcohol. Here, a hydride attacks the carbonyl carbon and that double bond breaks and goes to the oxygen. And uh, that oxygen, like I said, this is how I learned the mechanism is able to pull a proton in solution and create ethanol, which is just a two carbon uh, alcohol. And that's basically drinking alcohol, uh, beer and whatever. All right. So what uh, organisms do this? Uh, yeast. All right. When oxygen is present, the citric acid cycle can take place. This is going to be when we have pyruvate entering the mitochondria via the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. It's going to require multiple uh, cofactors and coenzymes to uh, do this reaction. And we'll talk about that in a future video.